Hey guys, this is Subhash S. Mishra, your test coach. In our previous video, we have learned about dependent tests in TestNG. Today, we will learn about TestNG parameters. So, what is TestNG parameter? When we write any test automation code or any development code, we try to write different functions or methods. Why we create these methods? Because we can use these functions or methods again and again. So, we will not write duplicate codes. For example, you want to add two numbers like 5 and 10. Then, you wrote a logic to do to add them, right? So, for example, again you have to write a logic to add 20 and 30. Again, you have to write a logic to add 40 and 50 and so on. So, in that case, you do not have to write separate logic every time. It is unnecessary, right? It is a duplicate work. So, what you need to do? Simply, you can write a method with addition logic and you can pass two arguments or parameters of integer data type. Using that method, you can add any numbers. You just need to pass the value, whatever you want to add, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, whatever you want to pass. You will pass to that method. It will work and it will give you the result. So, similar logic applies to test ng. We do not run a single test only once like in a lifetime. It's run in a different values to give the best results like entering different usernames and passwords for a website login. If we need to test login functionality of a website, we need to test it with multiple values. We cannot tell that it is working fine with one setup of data. So, we use testNG parameters for this kind of things. So, let's see with an example. So, I'll go to our old package, testNG test cases. Let me create a new class and I will name it as parameter. Okay. And here, what we'll do, we'll create a class public void, for example, song. Okay. And here, I'll take two arguments int a, int b. And here, what I'll do? int sum equal to a plus b and finally i do a sysout sum of a and b is sum okay so this is a method we wrote and to execute what we will do we will write test and now we will pass parameters to it you need to add the test ng annotation. Now, here what I'll do, I'll add parameters. Okay. So, how will pass parameters? You have to write parameters annotation. Okay. And here you can pass multiple values. For example, here I'll give value 1 and value 2 ok now we will go to our testng.xml file ok so here we will have suit name is this I will remove these groups earlier we were using these groups right so let me remove that and we will keep only one test we don't need more for example, this test name is parameter test. Okay. And we'll keep the name of class here. So package name dot class name. Fine. Now what we need to do? We need to add the parameter. Right? So to do that, what you can do, you can write parameter okay and here parameter name equal to we can give what we have given value 1 and 
actual value you can pass it here for example you want to add 5 right Here I can pass value 2 and here we can pass 10. Okay. Now let's execute it. So always remember you are executing from the testng.xml file. So what we are getting sum of a and b equal to 15. So whatever method we have written here that is getting executed right so only thing is you need to execute from the testng.xml file so we can provide the parameters in testng at both suit and test level in our example we declare parameter at the test case level here you can see the test and we have put it inside test case uh, but you can do it in the suit level also so let's see how we can do that and to do that what i'll do i'll create another method here and we'll use same things same parameters so to do that i'll just copy paste and here i'll write multiply okay and here what i'll do i'll multiply these two this and Okay, and here I'll write fine. So in testng.xml file, what you can do, you just need to cut it, okay, and paste it here. And now run it. So here you can see multiplication of a and b is 50 and sum of a and b is 15. So both got executed with the value whatever we passed it here. So we, we so here we see that both of the methods would have executed taking the values of 5 and 10. So we achieve this by defining the value just once. By defining the parameters in the suit label, you cannot only pass the same values in different methods of the same class, but also on different methods of in different classes. So let's see that. Let me create another class, for example, parameter 2. I'm creating. And here in parameter 2, what I will do is I'll keep only one and i will name it as for example difference and uh, diff equal to a minus b okay and let's execute now so we want we want three tests should get executed right let's see see Okay, we need to add it here, right? Parameter 2. Let's execute now. See here, what we got? Multiplication of A and B is 50, sum of A and B is 15, difference of A and B is minus 5. So what are the values it used? 5 and 10, right? So we don't have to pass it again and again. One time we are passing it here and it is getting executed in all different tests. So that's all about test and G parameters. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.